Good evening, everyone. And the topic that I have chosen to talk about with you today is the state of Tennessee versus John Thomas Scopes, also known more commonly as the Scopes Monkey Trial. Now, in the town of Dayton, Tennessee, there was this attention with a clash between Christian denominations and between modernists and fundamentalists centered around the teaching of evolution. On one side with the fundamentalists, you had former Secretary of State William Jennings Bryan, who argued that teaching evolution was the complete opposite to scriptures. Now on the other side, you've got Clarence Darrow and the American Civil Liberties Union, who kind of saw this as the opportunity to bring back the influence of religion and education. Now, in defense of the fundamentalists were the struggle between American Christianity, kind of how to interpret or integrate Christian doctrine with new scientific information. And since the late 19th century, You've had this conflict between fundamentalists and modernists because of the claims of the Bible and how new criticism was coming out of scientific inquiry. And another point of this was there were, in fact, different accounts of the world's creation that were kind of put together per authors. And at this state level, there was the Butler Act that was passed in 1925 in Tennessee that outlawed this teaching of evolutions in school. Now the ACLU offered to protect those who broke the law to be able to get it overturned. And there were considerable amounts of research in hopes that this trial would kind of bring attention to the town and encourage this teacher to teach evolution or who was teaching evolution to kind of challenge the law. However, he was fired and tried for breaking this law. And at the heart of this trial, It wasn't necessarily a question of guilt, and because he wasn't hiding the fact of him teaching evolution in school, but he was considered guilty under the Buckler Act. Now, the AG, the ACLU argued that the law was already unconstitutional. So, in the end, this trial. He might have lost it, but fundamentalism lost that kind of broader culture war. And we see this through Epperson versus Arkansas, which was very similar, that the court found the law unconstitutional. And But we do see that in McLean versus Arkansas in 1982, Arkansas kind of had this balanced treatment that states used to use language to kind of create this literature. And it kind of required public schools to give that balanced, like that balance between the creation of science and the evolution of science. Um, I, this kind of, this means that this government is not allowed to favor just one religion over another. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much.